Hello friends, it's me, and it's time for more of this story. I'm really glad that you're all enjoying it. This is really funny to me, so uh, let's get right into this. This is chapter 7, Family Ties, T-Y-E-S. Here we go already. Hey everyone! Hi. I got over 20 reviews. That's epic. Congratulations, that is pretty good. To the fake Christian who doubts my faith, how dare you doubt my faith? It's a lot of question marks and exclamation points there. I shall not be put of the Lord's pat because of fakers like you. Believe means that we have to stick together and be nice. So, be nice, she, if you the real del nk. Thank you, wiki emoji. Thank you all for reading this far. I'm really happy, and God bless you all. Have a knees day, and please, no more Fleming. Go, and do thou likewise. Thanks all. Colon three. XO, 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 XO. Ooh. Bear one a notter's burdens. Luke. Ooh. That's my favorite book of the Bible. Luke. Ooh. It was the next day, and I was having breakfast. Author's note Coco Pops. Yeah. Happy emoji. And Dad passed me the mulk. He still seemed a bit mad. But, as I said last chapter, he can be an asshole, so I ignore him. So, Joan, tell me more about Edward, asked Dad. I was shkulked. Dad has never wanted to know about my boyfriends before. It was so unlike him to give a shit, even when he was not drinking. This... what the fuck is going on in this family? Well, I started, he's about my age, he's in a few of my classes, and he's really uber hot. We met a while ago, and now we are going out. I didn't tell him about the pormuscuity, though. Pormuscuity. <laughs> cool. Because it wasn't Edward's fault. I just smelt that god for him. I thought and frowned because it seemed it might be hard to overcome the bloodlust. That is great, Joan. I am happy for you. Thanks, Dad. I hugged him and left because he'd hit the bottle soon and become a total fuckhead. Wow, at like 10 in the morning, that's... That says something. Sometimes I wonder if he's even my fatter. Damn. Ed Red was at school when we arrived, and he introduced me to his family proper. Hey, I'm everyone, Joan, and I'm currently dating your spunky bro here, I said and hugged him tightly. He blushed and huggled me back, colon three. Yeah, I heard, said Rosalie. Has he told you that we're vampires? Asked Alice, askingly. Yeah, he has. And apparently, I smelt hot. I roared happily. Oh God, we're getting like right into the old school emo, aren't we? Everyone lorfed, but then went serious. Emmett told me seriously. It's true, though. I suffest you be careful until we adapt to your scent. We have to be carful around you for a while, okay? I nodded, and Ginny pooped into my mind. I had to tell Jazer. Oh, BTW Japster? <laughs> J Japster? <laughs> With his brother Napster. I told Jasper adorably. My friend Ginny thinks you're a big and sexy guy. I'll tell her about the Christian vampire thing, then you two can date Ja. He blushed and nodded. Author's note. See, Jin Jin, I did this for you! Colon two. 
We were getting along great after a while, and soon we walked into the cafetura. I was talking about the girls and dressing tips. I was wearing long white sweater with fluing red skirt and stockings and heels, and my hair was in epic ponytails, and I had red mascara. They were wearing nice things, too. And we talked and talked, and then they all froze, and Edwed smacked me to the ground? Shocked emoji. Then through the window came James and jumped right in top of me! One, 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 one. Ooh. I hope you like that. And I hope you like th that Emmett Jenny. And thanks to you all out there. I really love you all. Next chapter is epic fight between Edward and Jones. Shocked emoji. Dun dum dun. It actually says that. See, I'm deviating from the book now. I'll be using quote creative scenarios. Unquote. Now. Enjoy. Happy emoji. So, let's go to the, uh, the next chapter, I guess. Why not? Let's just do it. You ready? Uh, chapter eight. Music. Author's note. The exciting conclusion to the fight in the previous chapter. Shocked emoji. Also, again, thanks to all who have read this far. May the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you until Tim comes to passeth unto his realm. Y'all watch out for Tim. He's going to bring you to heaven. Also, Jenny says hi. XD. Hi, Jenny. Ooh. Fight the good fight. 6-12. Timothy 1. Ooh. I screamed loudly as Jones crashed into me. I flalotted my arms around, and his teeth came out and ripped into my arm through my white sweeter. 111. I scrome and failed my legs about and somehow hit him in the groin, and he got off. The girls dragged me away as best they would, and everyone else was screaming and running around the white with the room. Jones roared at me, and I could see the blood lost in his eyes, and it was scary. I got up to my feet, and Jasper protected me, as imminent and Ed scare came on to jams. Emirat smacked the fucker into the ground, and Edward jumped on top of him and started beating him poo. Edward looked so sexy as he pounded into jams. I was crying because I was sad that Edward would be hurt. James kick dead wad off one one shock emoji shock emoji shock emoji shock emoji There was fling everywhere one 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 The tables got knocked over as they flew about the room and everyone was still screaming who had died Alice and Rodmary escarted me to the doors What are they gonna do to him? I asked Alice when she was ten feet tall. I'm sorry, I added that part. They're gonna burn him if they kick his ass, Jesser told me. I knew they would do that to kill him, so he wouldn't try to ate me again. Jenny took me outside, and we sat on a table outside. I was nervous, not only because of Ed Weird, but because I was still kind of bleeding from James's bite, and they were vampires. But then, Edward came over to me and hugged me. It's okay, he's gone now. Emmett's gonna take care of the body. Why don't you come back to my place? Okay, I said and went with Edward to his house. The parents were out hunting for deer. Edward told me that's how they eat. Then they eat people, which makes me happy. And went to the lounge. The girls went somewhere, and so did Giuseppe. We were alone. 
I was still a bit sad, but Edward hugged me and I felt better. Why did that happen? Who was that, Edward? I asked, unhappy, but in his arms. That was James. He's a problem vamped pie from another clan. <laughs> he still hates people. <laughs> Ah, uh, damn it, James, you people aider. But now he's dead, and he'll never bother you again. But now listen, there's something I want to show you. He walked over to the radio and turned off Reliant K. I still don't know what that means. Then walked Sex Ah to the piano. I was excited as he sat down at his piano and started to play a song. As he played, it became clear Edward was such a good Penis. Penis, 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 penis. It was a B minor, but I couldn't recognize the song. It sound said, nice and organy, like cathedral sometimes have playing. It I'm actually impressed that you said spelled Oh no, you didn't. I thought cathedrals are spelled right. It's cathedrals. Sorry. It was so beautiful that I cried again, but in a good way. As he played to me, and I smiled happy and forgot what happened earlier. The window smashed open, and oh no, it was jams again! Sad face thing. I don't know what that is. Author's note. He ruins everything for Joan at exclamation point. Ah! I creamed and ran behind Edward, who stood up from his piano and started to fight James again. I thought Emilet burned him one, I said sadly as Edward threw him back out the window and leopard after him. I ran out to watch as Edward bashed James again, his fist smashed into an already broken fiasse. Then out of nowhere came M, author's note. Okay, I'm shortening it to M because I have trouble with this name. I do this for you, kind of eaters. And Rose, and Alice, and Rose... They grabbed James and knoiked him the fuck out. Less than colon three. He will stay dead this time, Edward told me as he ran over to me and swept me into his arms. He won't hurt you, Agson. I nodded and kissed him and he kissed me back and he took me inside again and flew to his room. He put me on his bed and laid me down and sat next to me. He stroked my hair as he hummed to me. I was still upset by all the fighting, but he made me feel better. I went to sleep next to Edward. Edward told me he would question M how James could still be alive in the morning. When I woke up, it was dark and realized I was back in my own house. Edward was sitting next to me, smelling at me. <laughs> Just exuding odors in her direction. <laughs> oh my god. I squat up in bed. Did you bring me here? Yes, I did. You're so sweet, I told him and coddled him playfully. So are you, he told me and laid next to me. I looked at how sexy his hair was and how sexy his eyes were. He wasn't wearing a shirt. I flicked his nose playfully, and he liked my finger and protended to nibble it. I giggled, and he did too. Then I fell asleep again. As I slept, I had Night Horse about James. Night Horse about James? <laughs> okay. He had come back alive, and he was shooting at me with a gun and telling me he would eat me Agter. I was running, but I couldn't run. And then he jumped on me, and I went black. When he, I woke up the next morning, he was gone. But his scent lingered in my nose trails. Ooh. Thanks, Agon, for reading. Anyway, I'm thinking of having a competition. I want a new their character in my story. So give me a basic description, and yeah, you'll be in soon. See you next time. XOXOXOXO.
I don't know if anybody else is as thoroughly entertained as I am by this, but I, I'm just like, wow. I, You know, somebody commented, because the first episode went up uh, today, or rather the day that I was recording this, and some people are saying that it's a parody. I don't know if it is, because if it is, it doesn't seem to insinuate it is, and where I found it, they didn't really say it was. So I'm not sure. I guess I'll have to find out. I guess this will be like Princess America. So, uh, you know, we'll see. Either way, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, please, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I have a Ko-Fi and a merch store, and you can check those out, and I would appreciate it. Uh, every Saturday there's a live stream, and also I have a Discord server. So I'll see you guys whenever I see you. I love you all. Goodbye.